ja hier sehen wir sie, die vorläufige Siegerin, die wirklich... Hi everyone, Sammy here, welcome back to Japan. No, I'm not in Japan. I'm still in Hamburg. And we are here again at the Hamburg Derby. Uh, we're not going to watch horse racing. We're going to watch the people and take photos of the people. Because that's what I do as a street photographer. And today I don't need to review a lens. I don't need to review any new camera gear. I can just use what I'm comfortable with. And that is my Nikon D850. It's the Voigtlander 40mm f2. That's my preferred setup for events like this. I also use it for street photography from time to time. And finally a day where I can just take photos for myself and for my Hamburg archive. And in terms of subjects, today is uh, going to be a, a hat competition here. So we have a lot of people here wearing fancy hats. So they are going to be my main subject. And because it's so windy, it's actually perfect because people are holding on to their hats. And I want to catch uh, a photo, a moment of a hat flying off, you know, from the hat. That, that would be awesome. Because if I only focus on people standing with a fancy hat, that's not interesting, right? If you take a photo of me with my, with my cap, it's boring. But if you capture this, ah! <laughs> then that's much cooler. So let's try to capture some flying hats. We're here near the entrance and it's a really great, great place because people are coming in and lots of people with hats and uh, two observations so far. First, I'm not dressed for the occasion and then uh, second, uh, 40 millimeter is starting to become a little too tight. Oh, now it's starting to rain, which is good because I switched to my weather seal 28 1.4. So I'm going to use that from now on, uh, but I'm going to switch to the 40 later. Okay, I want to say a few words about using a DSLR for streets or a situation like this. Um, it's not that different from using a Leica or a Ricoh. You can just hold your camera high. I always have it here around my head. And then I take photos quick. Do the do the winogram. Like, oh, 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 I don't know what I'm doing. But also the size gives you some credibility because people think that you are hired to take photos here. You are professional. But it's not that different from doing street photography. It's just a bigger camera. Okay, maybe I can even show you an example. So I have my focus point uh, one above the middle point because I'm focusing on people's faces and I track them. Oh great, you can't see me. <laughs> so I have my focus point one above the middle point because then I can focus on people's faces, track and then recompose. So let's take a shot, prepare the focus, it's not quite in the middle point up, focus quickly, take a photo, it's a boring photo anyways. but. <laughs> but you get the point. <laughs> you get the point. Let's move on. Oh, she looks good. Ja, 
Hamburger Stuttgemeinde, oder für den Hamburger Stuttgemeinde, weil es entschieden in diese Season und Top Gun. Wie noch überhaupt nichts falsch gemacht hat. So, 28.1.4 ist amazing, I love it, but it's so easy to overdo uh, 1.4 and shoot wide open all the time. I'm guilty of that as well because the look is just so delicious but I have to remind myself to stop the lens down from time to time because, because the depth of field is so narrow sometimes I, I miss subjects or there's no reason for the background to be blurry because sometimes I want context so um, a little pro tip for everyone uh, lasting after, after lens like this don't overuse it I think it's going to rain very soon it was so much fun and I almost almost captured uh, a head flying away but I missed it so close and then uh, my friend Delma he also showed up he's also going to take photos here he's another talented photographer do you call yourself a street photographer no, no? what are you no. <laughs> what are you I photograph I photograph yes I mean, documentary photographer. Yeah, yeah. So, and he's definitely dressed for the occasion, not like me. I'm undercover here. I'm undercover. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to show you his photos from today as well, and I think he's also going to shoot film. So, first advice, <laughs> you go where the horses are presented, and you stand in the corner before the horses, the corner where the horses turn left to the field. Because at one point, you have the jockeys on the horse, and the horses, they don't really want to go. So you have one guy carrying, pulling the horse, the jockey is on, and um, it's nice because you see it now. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, looking now forward to see it. Okay. <laughs> Still the show, come on. It's the only camera you ever need. <laughs> The um, problem is you have 12 exposures and it's really a portrait camera, but you can do it. So well, this camera is good for portraits. We do one of you both. Yeah? Yes. Okay. This is Thelma, ladies and gentlemen. Never quiet, never still. <laughs> So, oder was? Mit dem Mikro, durch dem Mikro hier. Hurry up, it's raining. Oh, that's it? Okay. Das war's schon, vielen Dank. chasing update it's really hard it's so windy but everyone is uh, holding on to their heads and there was one woman who had a huge head and um, even she catched the head before it flew uh, flew off but I'm not giving up I'm still trying to get a flying head picture and René Pichulek, the Arxig rider from Torquato Tasso, Politano, the first color of the stall is Nizza, also here is Peter Schürgen, the trainer, and the rider is the one who in the past year the Deutsche Derby win with San Marco, Burjan, Mosabayev, then the guest from Ireland, from the stall of Jesse Harrington, that is Pivotal Trigger, in the possession of Chang Yusheng, Eugene Ohr, here in the saddle, and then... Okay, there's a head contest about to start, and it looks like it's going to be inside there, 
there, so we can't go and take photos. But everyone who goes into behind the fence also has to go out, right? So we are going to wait here and maybe we can catch some nice hats. Hopefully flying hats. We will see. I don't like this. It's too far away. That means I definitely have to get a press pass again. I used to own one, but I, I, never, I never renewed it. And I don't know if I can still get one as a YouTuber slash photographer. I'm not really doing press or journal journalistic work, but yeah, if I would have one, I could just walk up there, take photos, but no. And then the moment we all have been waiting for happened 50 meters away from me. Ah, let's look at it again because it's so satisfying but at the same time frustrating. I think this here is the peak moment. From the side with the other hats in the background that would be perfect. But shortly after this, I got uh, one last shot that I really like. So, in the end, it's all good. But still frustrating. So, okay, the event is over. We are, we are finished. Finito. And did I get my flying head photo? I can say I got one, but I, it's not the best. It was so far away and... Ah, wait, do it again. <laughs> so, now I got it. <laughs> So, uh, you got any good photos? Yeah, of course you got yes, good photos. I, I already did. saw it. I did get good photos, but the big question is, as a photographer, do you run after the action? No, we don't want to do that. We want to look how is the action happening, how is everything is repeating. Yeah. Just watch. Don't take photos for a moment. Wait for the first race see what's happening and then you position yourself in three locations and stay there and then you work and then it becomes good yeah my favorite shot was on a tripod where we have where we see all the people coming in and this will be a digital comp oh three two sd card went full so thanks for watching see you next time Ah, du wartest auf was. Das Video. Das Video. <lacht>